What's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris. So I got a surprise package in the mail the other day and it's from my waxy, April Lee, the wax queen. She sent me some goodies in the mail and I was not expecting it. So what a lovely surprise and thank you so much, April. I love you. Um, yeah, so I've got it all sitting here in front of me. And um, I took it out of the box. It was packaged beautifully. Let me just say, you know, us people who we all receive wax, and you know who you are, everybody out there in the wax community, you know you like your packages to come wrapped nice so they don't come damaged. She wrapped it beautiful. She wrapped it like the candle nurse. It had all the, <clears throat> uh, the silver, oh, you know what I'm talking about. The stuff to keep the heat out and there was an ice pack in there it was fantastic um however there were scentsy bars in there that were beautifully done because they were all laid nice and flat because you can't turn a scentsy bar straight up and down like this because scentsy bars can sweat and um so some of it leaked so i had to take it out of the box and take care of the uh, dyes that kind of seeped out a little bit but other than that everything's fine and I really didn't smell anything and I'm really excited to go through this with you and show you what my beautiful friend April sent so let's go ahead and get started okay everybody Let's start with the Scentsy Bars. I'm really excited about this because, because I have never smelled these Scentsy Bars. So these are all new to me. And they're all on the Apple line. She knows I love Apple. Anyway. All right, so here's one. Or maybe I did get the, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. This is from the Disney Villains Collection and it's called Just One Bite. And I should have looked up all the scent notes, but I didn't. Um, yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? I will put the scent notes on the screen when I edit the video. Okay, I'm getting a lot of cinnamon here. Beautiful red. And I think this is one, this is possibly one of the ones is juicy. Cinnamon. Is this like cinnamon apple? It, well, it's gotta be just one bite. It's, you know, what is that? Maleficent? I don't even know how bad is that? That I don't know. Snow White's evil queen name. I know you're all probably going, what? Sorry. Oh, this is pretty. It's very cinnamony. I do like cinnamon. Oh, that's pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, uh, let me see. I really wish I took the time and pulled up scent notes. I don't want to sit here and type on the computer, so I will put them on the screen, but this is like a cinnamon apple scent. Very strong. This is going to be beautiful come, I'm going to say September, I'll be feeling this these vibes right here. Grandma's Orchard. Oh, this might be like an apple pear and peach. Man, look at the label. <laughs> there we go. So don't those look like pears there? with the apples. This might be like a mix of apple. Yeah, this is just like an orchard. Yep, I'm totally getting like that orchard vibe. So there is a sense of um to me, I feel I could smell like an earthiness to it with those with those apples because it does have that orchard, so it's not just plain apple. Again, 
I'm totally gonna vibe with this in September. Like, I think of like first day of school. You know, I don't have kids going to school, but like that type of, you know. All right, so this one here is Cranberry Orange Cider. I may have smelled this one. 1022. Yeah, I might have smelled this one. And if I'm not mistaken, this is really nice. Yes, this is just cranberries and oranges, and you get that cider note in there that, you know, the spices that go along with it. Oh, that's pretty. Why didn't I, why don't I have more of this? Because I was a consultant then, and I do remember this coming out. This is pretty. This is nice Thanksgiving time. Um... It just has that feel to it. So the spices in here are just very um, mild spice, but there is a sense of a cinnamon nutmeg feel to it. Maybe a little clove. And the cranberries. I, I You know what? I really like cranberry spice notes. You know, it, it's just pretty. And you do get the orange. This is beautiful. Oh, I like that. Why don't I have this? It may have been in my club. I, I don't know. Okay, and here is one. I believe this was a collection. I don't know the collection, um, what it came from. This is from 21, or at least that's what April's got on here. Is marked as, it's called Keep It Sassy. So let's see what this one smells like. Well, that's pretty. That's a beautiful red. Oh, this is pretty. This is like a perfume. Try to pop it out here. Very pretty. There's an apple note here. This is a beautiful perfume scent. Oh, I like this one. I don't know. This is pretty. So I'm getting this like a fruity floral. Maybe a hint of a musk here. That's gorgeous. I will definitely look for that. Thank you, April. I like this. I'm going to keep my eye out for that one. Okay, then this one here. This one I know I've smelled. I just, it's very familiar. This is blood orange spice. Again. Oh, there was two cranberry orange ciders. Thank you. Nice. Okay, this is blood orange spice. Again, it's just, this one reminds me, I don't know, this one gives me craft store vibes in the fall. Maybe like a, I don't know, is it potpourri or something? I feel like I, I could see myself walking into Kelly's country store in like September and being in smelling the smelling like it there. This is nice. I like this one. Beautiful transition scent for coming out of summer and going into our fall months. That's nice. That's pretty. Blood orange spice. Again, I will be looking for that one. That's a nice one. Thank you, April. Love those Scentsy picks for me. That was that was very nice. Okay, so we have two from Second and Spruce here. I happen to love this one. And I want to say this came out of the Christmas sampler. I have not melted mine yet. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it, but I love the smell of this and it's cranberry frostbite and this is cranberry ginger ale and a hint of win winter woods. This is so good. You guys, ah, oh, it reminds me oh God, it's 
so good. This reminds me of a Christmas drink, a holiday cocktail. I absolutely love the smell of this. In fact, when I was reorganizing my wax, I came across this. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to melt that one. And now I've got two. And I'm happy about it. It's just like a... <sighs> the ginger ale is like a... It gives it that effervescent note to the wax. And when you put that cranberries in it, it becomes like a bubbly cranberry. And then it's got that winter woods. So it kind of... Um, falls it up even more. It gives it even more of the fall vibe with that hint of woods in it. So good. Absolutely love that one. I, I'm hoping she pours that again. This one here, I had a, um, I don't, did I buy more? I wonder if I did. I might have a mini loaf of this. It, it's amazing. It's her honey pear cider donut. You guys, this smells so good. It is spiced honey pears and apple cider donut. Oh my God. You guys. Totally get the donut in here. And it's there. There ain't no missing it. But you get this apple cider and you get the the pear and it's it, it yeah this is beautiful i love this one so much and i have melted it and it smells amazing on warm oh that is so good thank you so much heather or heather why did i say heather April. <laughs> oh my God. Never mind. Thank you, April. Okay. Here's another fantastic one. And this is from Kay's. And it's apple butter frosting. And I'm surprised she sent this. Okay. It's apple butter frosting. And it's baked apple, cinnamon, and vanilla buttercream. Basically, this is Kay's dupe of apple butter frosting from that scents used to have that was a beloved scent by many i have never had the opportunity to smell the actual apple butter frosting from sensi um this one got leaked on so don't mind the label but this is a eight ounce k cut and april you don't even have one missing all right And it is so good. It's so good. It's, you get that buttercream frosting. You get the cinnamon and the apples. And it's just, and the vanilla. It is so, so pretty. I actually bought this myself because I wanted to smell it. Um, but I'm happy to have more. It's just a beautiful scent. It's buttercream frosting that smells like apples and cinnamon. So it's creamy and sweet and apples and cinnamon. And it's like the frosting on a, on a, on a cupcake. It's beautiful. All right. And these three I have not smelled. Um, I'm really excited to smell this one here. This is from Salt Mountain Melts. And it's called Haunted Look. Haunted Bake Shop. And I saw this last year when she poured it. I did not order it. And it is a pumpkin sugar donut and a bake shop. So I am really curious to know what this smells like. A lot of people rave about this scent. Oh. It's Bake Shop. The apple's there, but it's not crazy. I wouldn't call this like a crazy apple. This is, oh, it's just, it's just a beautiful donut-y bake shop scent. I'm trying to, oh, that's pretty. 
Oh, I like that one. Again, right now, all of this is giving me September vibes. I, yeah. These are going to be great scents going into fall. Getting y'all geared up for the real heavy fall scent, the leaves and the smoke. This is going to get you started into it. Oh, this is pretty. Thank you, April. Because I did not pick that up when she offered it last year. And I was a little bummed about it. I thought, oh, I should have got it. Everybody loving it. But now I got it. And it's already cured for me. Okay, I have never tried Harper James. And she sent me a brittle. And this is sweet and creamy. From Harper James. Does she sell pore wax? Who was it that, oh, Hayden Rowe, I think is only doing candles now. I think. I think Harper James still does wax. And I've heard good things about her wax. I have never tried it. Oh. Okay. So this is just like a sweet, creamy. Pretty. It's, you know what it reminds me of? Melted vanilla ice cream. That's what it reminds me of. Is there scent notes on here? There's something on here. I did bring a pair of glasses in here. Let me see. No. I think these are a website I'm seeing written down. So there's no scent notes. But to my nose, it smells like vanilla ice cream. I love it. Love it. This, I, this would be pretty in the bedroom. It's just, it's sweet and it's creamy. It's like a real super creamy vanilla. Like think of melted vanilla ice cream. I like that. I like that. A nice bedroom scent. I have to put something in my bedroom tonight. I haven't done it yet. It's getting late. All right, and last but certainly not least, this is from Vintage Chic. This is a Blackberry Jackie O. It's vanilla, vanilla bean cake with blackberry filling topped with whipped marshmallows. Um, It's already chopped. I love that. And I like how it's like flat too. She got girl. Mmm. Okay, this is pretty. This is pretty. Okay, you get it's just a beautiful uh vanilla cake. You get that creamy marshmallow and a subtle blackberry just to give it a little bit of something this is pretty this kind of reminds me of like wild berry mousse like that fluffy it's like fluffy this is pretty oh I like that okay I do have I've sampled vintage chic through um, I think Steph loves life sent me some and I think I took some out of a round rob and I think and it melts really well in my house it's just a vendor I've never taken the time to order from because when last year she was closing her business and I'm like I don't know anything about her so I'm not going to order a bunch of stuff because I don't know anything about her wax and now apparently she's pouring again I don't know I don't know. So this will be a nice um, gauge on, you know, is she somebody I want to order from? Um, like I said, I've got uh, some stuff that Stephanie has sent me and it does perform nice. So anyway, this smells amazing. Jackie O. I like that one. Okay, April, you are so kind. 
um, I love the surprise. I got a box and it was funny because she reused the box from the candle nurse. So when I got this package, I picked up the box and I saw the strawberries tape on it. And I'm like, did I order another one from candle nurse and I don't remember? I did, I thought, did I do it in my sleep? Did I place an order? And then I looked at the label and I started laughing. I said, my God, it's from April. Anyway, thank you, April. I love you. This is beautiful. And I appreciate you. And I appreciate this beautiful wax. And I love the fact that these are scentsy that I don't have. That's that's a plus right there. And that girl, that keep it sassy is nice. I like it. Anyway, thank you again, April. I appreciate you. Please follow April. I'm sure you already are. She's, you know, hysterical. I love her videos and her shorts. She's got some shorts out there. If anything, check out her shorts because some of them are funny as hell. Anyway. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate the time you take out of your day, your lives, your busy schedules, and you've watched a video I've uploaded. It means a lot to me. Um, it just, you know, this is like my hobby and this is somewhere where I could talk about it. So please comment, like, and subscribe helps the channel grow and uh, yeah, share my video. All right, everybody have a great night, great week, great weekend, whenever you happen to watch and we will chat again real soon. Bye-bye.